Here's a look at the current NL East odds. According to DraftKings Sportsbook, the Braves are at plus 115 to win the East. So that means bet $100 to win $115. The Mets are second at plus 150. So if you bet 100, you'll win 150. Now here are Pocota's National League East projections for the 2021 season. The Mets are at 77% odds to win the division. So Vegas has the Braves as the division favorites, while Pocota says the Mets will win the division by 11 games. Let's bring in Moose and Sal back in for what are the odds. Sal, Pocota and Vegas obviously differ for who they think will win the division. Who do you have in the NL East? Well, I'd probably be somewhere in the middle. Look, Pakoda is nuts. I mean, there's no way if the Mets do, in fact, win the division, they're going to win it by 11 games. They're not that much better than the rest of the National League East. However, Moose, they do fit, the Mets do, the mold of a team that I would look to pick going into the year because I'm never picking the favorite. The Braves are due to have a bad year. They've won three straight divisions. Now, I've been saying this for the last couple of years that it didn't work out as they won three straight, but I, I wouldn't pick the favorite to win their fourth straight. And you look at the rest of the National League East, I'm not picking the Marlins. I'm certainly not picking the Phillies. And I don't think the Nationals are as good as the Mets. So I do think the Mets have a realistic chance. If I'm looking at the odds, looking to place a wager before the year, I would pick the Mets to win the National League East. Yeah, I, I'll tell you this. I think Bill Pakoda was better at baseball than the Pakoda <laughs> rankings are in predicting the upcoming baseball season. And Bill Pakoda wasn't particularly good. So, I mean, it makes no sense. I mean, you look at the betting favorite to win the National League East is the Atlanta Braves. And the Pakoda rankings have them winning 82.4 games this year, just three games over 500. That makes no sense, my friends. Little to no sense whatsoever. Now, we can get into a debate, and I think the Mets are good value at plus 150 to win the National League East. I think the Mets represent good value to get themselves through the National League and potentially the Fall Classic, but they'd have to outlast the Dodgers. When you're looking at that division, I think the Mets in, and it's the Braves. I don't think the Phillies are there. I don't think uh, uh, the Washington Nationals are there. I don't think the Marlins are there. But the Braves are the stiffest challenge to the Mets in that division. And you can make an argument that the Mets at the end might prove to be the better team. Do you think that the Mets can win 96 games like Dakota suggests? It's, I mean, 96 is a little... Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. So I think that's a little much. I think, I think they're a 90 plus win team. I think if you're getting 96, 97, 98, I think that might be a little bit much for the Mets. Yeah, agreed. Maybe 90. And that's look, I mean, they, they're still moves to be made for the Mets potentially in season. I do think they will try to upgrade this ball club. But even with that, man, you know, 95 is a lot of games. Come on, for a team that we've seen struggle over the last several years, yeah, they made some improvements. 95 is asking an awful one injury to DeGrom or somebody else. That blows that whole theory up. So, no, I don't think there's any chance they would get to 95, maybe to 90.